Hello to all you home brewers out there. Today I'm making a beer called Simcoe Summer Ale. It's an extract beer that's going to turn out as a black IPA. And first thing you need to do is get your grains together in a grain bag. And I have a half a pound of Wireman Carafa in here and a fourth pound of Brees Caramel 20L Crystal Malt. You take it, put it in your grain bag your grain bag in your pot. Oh, and don't forget to use all clean uh, equipment. You don't have to worry about sanitizing the brew pot because the boiling will sanitize it for you. So you take that, get it in a knot there. That's too low. You want to make sure that your bag does not touch the bottom of the brew pot because if you are got the burner on and it gets hot and your bag is touching the bottom of the pot then your bag will burn through and all the grains that are in there will seep out into your beer and your beer will basically be ruined so just like that so it's hanging off the side now you got that in there you're gonna dump I like to do a full boil so I put all the water in to start Okay, now we have all the water in there, and I like to do a full boil, and you're supposed to target for five and a half gallons of beer, so I put about six and a half gallons of water in to allow for the boil off, because I'm going to be boiling it for a full hour. So the grains are in here, they're ready to go. I turn the burner on high for now, because I want the temperature of the water to get up around 160 degrees, but not anymore because once you get above 165 you're going to start releasing some bad tannins into the water from the grain or so I've read. So you're going to get it up to 165 I'm going to put my lid on here and my thermometer in keep a close eye on this and when it gets up to about 160 I'm going to turn the burner down and let the grain steep at that temperature for about a half an hour to really work those flavors in after that I'll go on and put the extract in and I will show you that when we get there. Alright, so every so often while you're steeping your grain, you're going to want to open up the pot and just sort of bounce this thing around, make sure the water's running through it, work it in real good. You can see it's getting a nice dark color which is what I expected and just keep letting it heat up until we get up to that 160 mark alright so the temperature has reached 160 degrees so I've leveled off the burner, turned it down to about medium high and it's sitting at 160 I'm going to let that steep for about half an hour and then add the extract alright after your grains are done steeping here's what you're going to do next Get the lid off, set that aside, get your grain bag off of here. Just hold it above your wart and let all the juice come out. You don't want to squeeze it or anything, just let it flow out of there. Once it's mostly out, just put it in a clean pot, and whatever else comes out, you can put back in the beer. And you're going to want to take this off the burner so you can put your extract in, because if you put it on in with the burner, you just scorch the bottom with the extract. This little one wants to get in the shot. Here, you pour the extract. Switch me. Got nine pounds of golden light growler extract. Alright, go ahead. Ready? Yep. Okay, so 
once you have all your extract in there, you get it back on the burner, crank it up to high, and watch for your wort to start boiling. You want to really keep an eye on it, because if it starts to boil, and you're not paying attention, the beer could boil over, and your whole batch will be ruined. So it would be a good idea to keep your thermometer in there, just don't let it sink into the beer, and watch it until it gets up to boiling and then we will start adding the hops. All right, in order to reduce the chance it would boil over, once your wort starts to boil, just get a few hops from your first ounce and sprinkle them in. Work those in and let that go for five minutes and then we'll start our regular hop additions. Okay, after you let those hops go for five minutes, Put your first ounce of hops, which I'm using Simcoe for a Simcoe Summer Ale, in one of these small little hop bags and just drop it into your beer. And we are going to let that boil for almost an hour before I put the second addition of hops in there. It's going to be two ounces of hops total. So we'll let this work its way in. The beginning hop that you put in your beer has to do with the uh, bitterness of the beer. So I only used one ounce of this hop because the alpha acid is over 12%. So I figure one ounce will be good and then one on the end for the aroma. And we will put it in the carboy and ferment it after that. All right, we are 50 minutes into the boiling here. So we're gonna make our second edition of Simcoe hops that easy. And we're going to let this work itself into the wort for the last 10 minutes of the boil for the aroma. And this one's called Semco Summer Ale, so we're just using Semco hops. After that we're going to turn the burner off and we're going to use a wort chiller to cool the wort down to room temperature around 70 degrees before we put it in the carboy and add the yeast for fermentation. All right, so it has been 60 minutes. I'm gonna turn the burner off. Get this thing off the burner so we can start the cooling process. And uh, before you add this thing into your carboy, you're gonna need to get it down to 70 degrees room temperature. That way you won't kill the yeast that you're gonna be putting in there. And with all this spent grain and hops, you can add it all to your compost. Just uh, cut it open and empty all the contents out of your compost. And I got tomatoes growing in mine right now outside. All right, time for the wort chiller. Here we have the wort chilling. You can't see it, but there's a copper coil in there. If you look up wort chiller, on your search engine you'll see what they look like but basically you run one end through your hose through the water goes in the water conducts the heat brings it back out dumps into your bathtub or wherever you flush it out at and once the temperature gets down we'll take it out it'll be ready for fermentation now that you have your wort chilled it's time to transfer it into your carboy and if you have one of these carboy carriers, it makes it really easy to transfer once it's done. Basically sanitize everything, your carboy and your funnel, and then just dump it in. Like so. Beer. Not quite yet. After we get it all in there, we'll pitch the yeast, put a stopper on it, let the yeast do their thing. Pretty soon we'll have our Black Summer IPA. It smells good. All right, now that you've got all of your wort in your carboy, it's time to add the yeast. This packet yeast is really easy to do. You don't have to start it or anything. It's a uh, dry ale yeast. It comes with one of these red packets. And just 
dump the yeast on it in. The guy at the home brew store said to use two packets, so that's what I'm going to do. The stopper I have, we'll be using in a second, I uh, have it sanitized. Everything after you're done boiling your beer needs to be sanitary and clean. The wart chiller, the uh, carboy, the funnel, anything that touches the beer after it's done boiling needs to be sterile. And you can get sanitizing solution at the home brew stores or online. These are all set. They're in there. Put on the stopper. The airlock air here to keep the air from going in and out. And then you're going to rock your carboy around to get those yeast started working in there. Give it a good rock. The yeast are going to be okay because we chilled the wort down to room temperature. And within 12, 24 hours, you should start to see uh, fermentation at work. It will be bubbling off. The carbon dioxide will be escaping through this airlock. But you need to put a little bit of water in up to the fill line in here. And once it starts fermenting, alcohol will stay inside of your carboy here. The gas will bubble off, the carbon dioxide will bubble off. And in a week or two, you'll be ready to bottle. And store this in a cool, dark place where the temperature stays relatively even. Okay, it's the next morning and I want to show you the beer. You can see the yeast at work in here. Carbon dioxide escaping. Fermentation is happening.